fantastic good morning everybody it is saturday morning here in the united states and i know it's afternoon for some of you and evening for some that are even farther away but we are always excited to do a training here every saturday and today is really exciting because most of us are really excited about Zenzino, if you are a partner, uh, but because we believe in the company, we believe in the profession, we believe in uh, these products, but there's a reason that we really believe in our products. Because there's a lot of companies out there that are really talking about getting healthy or being healthy, but there's one thing that really sets Zeno apart from everybody else. And that is our tests. We all don't just have one test, we have three tests right now. But to talk a little bit about the testing, what it's about, how you can get so much information out of one drop of blood, we've actually asked the CEO of Vitesse, uh, where, uh, who, who does all of our testing, uh, to come on here on a Saturday. <laughs> and he has agreed to do so. So I'd like to welcome him on here. Thank you so much, Thomas, for coming on. Thomas Gunderson. Hello, Thomas. Hi, Carla. It's really nice to be online, even on a Saturday, six o'clock in Oslo. It's no problem. I love that. So, Thomas, oh, I'm actually going to, there we go, put you on here. And Thomas, so we have been you know, doing testing through VTest. And if anybody wants to take a look, it's vtest.no. So Thomas, tell us a little bit um, about, uh, you know, your background. I'm going to start with that because I thought it was fun. One time, I mean, we've heard you speak at different events and you have been really interested in the power of that drop of blood from a very young age. You have, you have uh, pictures at a young age of, of yeah. uh, doing scientific things, right? Right. Yeah, I have this picture, you know, from when I was about five years old uh, on the kitchen in my home. And um, yeah, I was really curious as a kid. And, you know, I used to take things I found on the kitchen and the garage and in the basement, you know, mix them together, hoping for some smoke or bubbles or, you know, even some small explosions to happen. And um and I think, you know, uh, the people around me, my family were not really surprised when I, some 20 years later, really started my chemistry education at the University of Oslo. So that was kind of how it started. But you've also been very interested in the power of that one drop of blood because you did your PhD in... Yeah, I, I did. Yeah, actually, I did my PhD working on um, developmental biology, you know, looking at the development of the nervous system, the brain, uh, and the spinal cord, and so on. And and for this, we used mice as a model, you know, and uh, we looked at uh, these mice when they are like before they are born, like nine days after fertilization of the egg, and at that time, the embryo is one millimeter long one millimeter yeah really small and then we actually studied fractions of this embryo the spinal cord the kind of the neck of the embryo which is really really tiny you know so i got really skilled developing methods to look at tiny tiny samples you know and then later on when we started to do blood analysis in vitas i thought why use like a liter of blood you know i only need a tiny tiny drop you know um, so we started to develop methods that could uh, utilize this single drop of blood. And, and, and for me, that's plenty, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's talk about that. Because so many people are, are, are when they hear about Zenzino, because I know we're going to talk a little bit about nutrition, because you found out different, there was, you know, through the faculty of uh, actually of nutrition there in Oslo, but yeah. nutrition's making a difference of things. Um, yeah. But you're finding out in regards to this one drop of blood. I mean, I have people when we're going to talk about nutrition and we say, well, we're just taking this one drop of blood and sending it uh, mm -hmm. off to you. Uh, yeah. And they're saying one drop of blood. I mean, mm, I mean, can you really get that much out of a, a drop of blood that's telling you about your body? What? So, so the power of that drop of blood is what kind of I think I can you can just feel that passion in you what it, it, it can really tell you 
Yeah, I mean, you know, even if it's just one of drop of blood, it's the same content as in a larger amount of blood. You know, it's only smaller. And the, the question is, is it enough? But you know, the number of molecules in a single drop of blood is more than the total number of sand grains on the entire planet. It's kind of difficult to imagine actually, because, but the reason for this is that the molecules are really, really tiny, much smaller than the sand and the grains, you know? So, so we can fit so many molecules into a single drop of blood. So it's not a question of having enough molecules, you know, it's more about the machinery, the, the techniques and the methods that you use to do this work. So Vitas has been taking this one drop of blood and, and how do you get all that information out of it? So let's, let's start with talking about our first test. We have our balance test here and you've right. been doing, I think we're, I don't know. It's, I think we're at 855,000 tests the last I checked of how many right. tests. Uh, Appro but, approaching a million. Yeah. Yeah. Approaching I one know. million samples. Yeah. Yeah, we're working very hard together on this, Tom. But so the balance test, when people are looking at balance, so so you're taking this and, and taking, um, you know, that little paper that we're dr dropping the blood on, and what is it that it goes through for you to get the information out? Well, I would first like to say, you know, what we are really looking for is if if we have enough omega-3 dha epa in different parts of the body like your brain right because dha is really important for the brain uh so what we really want to do is to take a sample from the brain you know to to analyze that but, but we cannot do that right so so then we have a nice we have another cell type which is floating around our veins the red blood cells and these cells are fed in the same way as the brain so by taking a sample of blood and studying these red blood cells, we can say something about the brain. So we take the blood, of, the blood sample and we kind of uh, disrupt the cells and we extract the fatty acids that kind of build the membrane in these red blood cells. And then we kind of separate them uh, by chromatography, which is a technique to separate different molecules. And then we, we, we separate them and we count them and we have a measure of the the, the ratio of the omega-6 and the omega-3 in this uh, blood sample. And from this, we can say something about what's going on in the rest of your body. So, so cause it's incredible. I mean, we get so much information on this test, but one of them is that mental strength. And, and you know, like you said, if we could just tap into the brain and check it, but you can't. So, but you're doing like, you know, checking out how the brain is actually functioning from that drop of blood you're actually able to tell about that cell fluidity how yeah. flexible the cell is because that's super important right i mean this the cell membrane is really important and that's also something you can get out of the test absolutely it's kind of the you know the ratios between the different building blocks of the cell uh, you mm -hmm. know, you need to when you bake a cake, right? You need to have the right portion of sugar and uh, and water and so on. You know, it's the same for the cells. You know, we can have like a if you have a really wrong ratio, your cells will not be healthy, right? So mm -hmm. by by doing this testing, we can check if your ratio is within the recommended, mm -hmm. and if it's not, you need to correct this by taking some supplements or eat differently. I, it, it, it just floors me all the information that you can get out of that one drop of blood by checking the different things. Mm. So balance is, you know, kind of our, our uh, number one thing that we've been doing so far in uh, Zenzino and finding out about brain health, about your cell and how it's working because it makes sense, healthy cells, healthy body. Mm. Uh, but we've also added, let's, let's uh, talk about our vitamin D test. So this is actually a test that seems quite simple, but it's also done, you know, in the, in the same fashion, but you're testing different things in it, correct? Right, that's correct. So in this case, we are testing for a single molecule. It's, it's a 25 hydroxy vitamin D3, which is a metabolite of the vitamin D you're eating. So in the food you're eating, uh, there are, uh, it's vitamin D, and when it passes through the liver, it's converted to 25 hydroxy vitamin D3. And when we measure the concentration of this in the blood, we can say something about what storage you have of vitamin D in your body. Mm -hmm. So, um, 
So in this case, uh, it's much lower concentrations than we have for the fatty acids. So we need to use even more uh, sophisticated techniques. Uh, and, and for this analysis, we use something called uh, mass spectrometry, which is a really sophisticated and expensive equipment. It's about three, four hundred thousand euros per machine, uh, which okay. is a lot. Yeah. And, and, and the euros and dollars are very similar right now. So that's a lot of money. Thomas. It, it is a lot of money, you know, and you, you need more than one, you know, so you need backups. And if you have a lot of samples, you might need six of these instruments, which then mm -hmm. sums up to a, a really huge uh, sum of money. And also you need to have a PhD ish to run the machine, you know, so so now we are talking kind of NASA style, you know, operations. So it's uh, it's it's a com complex analysis. Love, uh, yeah, well, it, it, it it's way over many of our heads. It's just we're so grateful to hear. I mean, I just think meeting you and having like our fireside chat here on a Saturday, you know, because we can see presentations that show all this, but it's really good just to hear you talk about it in kind of more language to those of us who don't have those PhDs in it. So yeah, uh, yeah appreciate yeah. this so much, Thomas. Okay, so then we just recently added our HbA1c test. Right. And as we, you and I were talking a little bit earlier, you're like, this is actually extremely important, maybe even more important than the balance test. Why would you think how this, this test is so important? I think this test is maybe one of the most important tests that you can do because it kind of, it maps uh, or, or it tells something about a lot of things in your body. You know, it tells you about if you have had a high, too high uh, concentration of glucose, sugar in your body over time. And, and this can happen if you are kind of sick or you if you're obese or if you have consumed a lot of sugar over a long time, burning your insulin production. And, um, you know, sugar is like a toxic, you know, in your body. It will react with everything in your body, including your eyes, for instance. And some of you might have dogs, all dogs, they tend to get blind, actually. And the reason for this is that they get cataract, which is a disease in the eye. And this is a reaction between the lens in the eye and sugar, making the lens uh, opaque. There is less light coming through the lens and they will kind of start hitting the head in the walls and so on. Uh, and this is diabetes actually. So, and the same thing goes for humans. So this is a very important tool to check or monitor kind of your lifestyle, your consumption of sugar and your kind of degree of exercise and obesity, how you eat and so on. And if you're too high on this marker, there's a really red flag, you know? So mm -hmm. if, you, if you have an orange flag, like prediabetes or a red flag on this marker, you really need to consider how you live your life, you know, exercise, how you eat and so on. But for me, um, this is kind of attacking one of the most important pandemic in the world, the diabetes pandemic. There are hundreds of millions of people. It's now one in 10 in the whole world having this disease. And it's kind of approaching two in 10 people actually. So it's a pandemic like the COVID pandemic. Yeah. And, and what I find about this is that it's something we can do something about here uh, yeah. in, you know, both in regards to uh, and all three of our tests, mm. uh, we can actually help people reverse a lot of this. Uh, we just need to make them aware. Right. So and you, what, is it, what is it that we're testing when, when you have this? Because you're using different testing mechanisms and machines right. and things too. Yeah. So yeah. how can you tell lifestyle from from that drop of blood in this is it is it just i'll let you explain i don't i, don't, I wanted to know I, and this is funny because also for this test we use the red blood cells you know and i i mm -hmm. I, I like to call call the red blood like it's like a satellite tissue you know mm -hmm. it's like a kind of parts of tissue floating around in your veins you know a satellite tissue something you can use to tell something about your brain your heart your liver and so on a satellite mm -hmm. tissue and, and, and in this case, the sugar will also react with the red blood cells. So you kind of have a product that HB in HbA1c means hemoglobin. It's an abbreviation for hemoglobin, HB. And, and you know, this is the red color of, of the red blood cells. 
and the sugar will actually react with the hemoglobin and this is what we measure so it's a reaction product between the hemoglobin and the sugar and in the same thing as for the fatty acids it takes a 120 days to, to exchange all the red blood cells so mm -hmm. in this case um, the HbA1c is a long-term marker of how much sugar you have in your blood over time and, and to measure this, we use something called ant antibodies. An antibody is like a protein that will recognize uh, this molecule, HbA1c. And then it's kind of complicated, but this is kind of the, the, the secret. You have an antibody that will re recognize this molecule and then we can measure it. Wow. I can see why you need that PhD to understand all this. But yeah. I'm so <laughs> that you do uh because yeah. you know we're, we're we're closing on a, a million tests and mm. you know you have a, a company you know and a lot of people have said well you know they're fudging these tests you know you they can you know zenzino can enter any numbers and and, and try to fool you with this but mm. that's where uh people need to know these i mean this these tests are wonderful to have yeah. but these aren't tests that are being taken and analyzed by Zenzino. you are vitas is a completely independent lab and you do a lot of work for many companies correct that's correct we have about 1000 different projects each year we have hundreds of customers and uh for so, some of these are we have a kind of a accreditation a quality assurance scheme which is called the gmp and actually last week we had a visit from fda uh, or the ema it is in europe uh, but the equivalent in us is fda and there was a three-day inspection in the laboratory so every second or third year they come to us and they look through all the papers you know the management and they look at the methods and they really really look us closely yeah in, in, and 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 um they have like a list of deviations that we that they find in our lab and uh, we need to correct this to have a continuous uh, approval to do this kind of work for customers like sensina for instance so i guess you in the us you know fda is really strict you know and uh, you need to comply uh, and if you're not you're not allowed to do this kind of work so so we are really serious we have really high quality and we have inspections uh, on a regular basis from the authorities to ensure that we keep the promises that we make to our customers including Sincino and the customers of Sincino. Well I remember uh, years ago when we were having a leader school, we had a group of our uh, partners uh, from uh, my team, and we came to visit the lab and you guys were incredible on opening up and showing us uh, things. And it was again, you know, that over the head feeling, but yeah. really knowing that you know what uh, you guys are doing and actually very passionate about it. Um, even when, when you're doing this, um, I can tell, you know how much you believe in that drop of blood and what we're doing but yeah. so then there's the question of people asking okay we are coming up on a million and i know Zenzino is a company that uh you're very happy that uh, that you're able to work with and, and zinzino has been very happy with you um mm -hmm. and vitess and all the people working there um but are they able to continue we are you know, working on hitting a, a million customers here by 2025, but by 2035, we want to hit 10 million. And by 2050, we want to hit 100 million. Yeah. So Tom, are you going to be able to follow up and follow along and, and keep up with the growth of Zenzino? Uh, Absolutely. If, if you know, I think, you know, that we actually been around for 30 years. Mm -hmm. It's important, you know, because we've been collaborating with Zeno for about 13 years now, you know, and I think it's quite important that um, that um, there is a company that exists over time because this is not always the case, you know, startups, they, they, um, they start up and they disappear, you know, and often after only five years, they disappear, you know, so mm -hmm. to have like a solid company 
uh, that will do the analysis in the same way year or by year by year by year you know uh, up to now but also for the next 10 years and which uh, also are financially stable enough you know and have kind of uh, practiced so much on this type of analysis that if you send us another million or another million or another million it's not going to be a problem we're going to be there and we're going to have the capacity and it's going to be top-notch quality in the years to come as well i'm not in doubt about that thomas knowing you and how you guys have been working for 30 years longer than zenzino has been working and i know you can't talk about any of the future things i know that but yeah. i know that we are i mean we are a test-based nutrition company and i know that they are working on things that can be done in the future for Zenzino in testing also. I know yeah. you can't talk about it. <laughs> no, no, but we have some secrets, you know, we are working on some things and have been for many years. So some things are really tricky and takes time and some things are more easy to do. But, you know, we used to have one test or Zenzino used to have one test. Now there are three tests and I know there are about four and five, you know, in the pipeline. And I think in 10 years, there's going to be at least 10 tests uh, we do for Cincino, for sure. I, I, I agree. <laughs> and yeah. it gets me to listen to that. So tell mm -hmm. me a little bit about future. Uh, you, We've been working together for a while. And I know for you, um, <clears throat> working in the science field has also been something, you know, reading people's drop of blood and making that difference has also been a passion for you. Yeah. And, and that's yeah. actually one of the things we talk about in Zinzino because we know this is actually making a huge difference for so many people because people just need to know the answers to these tests and we yeah. can actually change the quality of their life and, and how long they're going to have that quality of life. You know, mm. it's a, it's a mm. pivotal moment for people when they meet Zenzino, but mm. it's because of you, Thomas, that uh, behind what we're doing. So how yeah, do you I, see the future of, of things like this? You know, when I, you know, from all people that study like health and medicine, you know, we kind of, we uh, are also devoted to, to improving people's health you know people's life and the society you know to 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 have better use of the money that we all pay in taxes you know and uh, you know it need to be more effective you know we need to have more out uh, of the money in the health system so i usually quote a guy called goethe he's a german uh, philosopher and he says it's not enough to know we must apply you know so it's not enough to study and learn things we actually need to apply it, you know, in the society, you know, to have effect. And I think uh, by collaborating with Cincino, so Cincino for me is kind of a tool to apply the knowledge that I have learned at the university, you know. So, so Vitas has some tools, but alone it's not enough, you know. But in the collaboration with Cincino, we can apply this knowledge and we can improve people's life. And we can improve uh, society and the use of money in society. So, absolutely. Yeah. And Thomas, that is exactly why I think Zinzino uses Vitas because they have that mission of making mm. that difference. And I am not in doubt that uh, the future of really impacting a lot of people, uh, making a dent in the universe for right. people. And yeah. And I also feel for personally, I mean, and you know, my story had changed my son. Uh, and I know so many people's stories of what it's doing when they find out about the test and take a test and then change it of what the recommendations of that drop of blood is telling them. Mm -hmm. And by these tests, really, yeah. uh, you know, uh, making that difference. And I, and I really believe that it's going to be you know, that, that we're just starting. We haven't even tapped onto the surface. I think, Thomas, we're at like 23, 25,000 tests. Haven't even hit that yet here in the United yeah. States. Yeah. And we're now gonna be working in a hundred countries. So mm -hmm. the future is really bright for working together and really making that difference. And, and knowing all of this, it also, as you said, you have to do the action. And that's where 
we as in Zeno partners can come in because once you know <laughs> what you know about this and what yeah. it can do to help people, we need to yeah. get the word out. Absolutely. So I, I think I, I would like to introduce another word, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, we have science and you've probably heard of crowdfunding, you know, mm -hmm. how we can fund, fund things through like uh, on the internet, you know, $1 from 100 million people is a lot, you know. And I think I like the I like the term crowd science. Mm -hmm. So the crowd, you know, the Cincino crowd is joining in and doing science. You know, we can learn a lot about science and health problems by the power of the Cincino system. I but love this, that. This is nice. Yeah, crowd science. And, and I think too, what what I what I love about uh, Cincino is not only do you know, we can talk about the tests and we don't need to know all the things that you just explained that went over some of our heads. We don't yeah. need to know all of those things because we have you and yeah. we, we have the machines doing the testing. In the same way, I don't understand everything like our uh, scientific advisory board between Dr. Paul and Dr. Colin and Ida and, and all of our uh, scientists behind our products and how they work on our body and actually can work at fixing this. I don't need to know that. But again, if we were doing crowd uh, science, we're yeah. going to spread the news. And because because as Dr. Paul says, the science is the science. The People can take science. a look at it and find the science. I don't need to be a Dr. Paul or a no, Dr. No. Colin because but, they're but, already out there. And the science is behind it. <laughs> but Carla, this is why we have the traffic light reporting system, you know? It's mm -hmm. simple. You're red, you're orange, or you're green, right? Yes. That's it, you know? You're, you're good, you're bad, or you're in the middle. So this, this, <laughs> this is how simple it is, right? So you don't need that to it have is. a PhD. You know, only need to need the difference between red and green. <laughs> I love it, Thomas. Yeah. yeah, and we are creating a simple system for people to understand our testing, to understand the products, and to get out there and make that difference in a lot of people's lives. Well, thank yeah. you, Thomas. Uh, you know, it really does uh, touch my heart, and I hope for everybody out there who does see Thomas on stage or or doing this that. You know, you're calling in from your home on a, and it's actually about dinner time over at your house uh, yeah. in Norway. And I so appreciate you doing that because we are working together here on really making that dent in the universe. And mm -hmm. you have made a difference uh, in us, in my life, and so many others, almost a million. <laughs> and, almost uh, a million. Yeah. But we're working on a lot more. So. Thank you, Thomas, for, for your time. I am going to let people unmute uh, so that they're, let's see, uh, hands, I'm gonna have, let, oh, there we are. <laughs> let people unmute so that, yes, I see a lot of thank yous coming here, but thank you to everyone for being on. And thank you, Thomas, for taking time out of your schedule. It has been incredible. Thanks it's so my much. Pleasure. You're very welcome. Thank you. Bye-bye all. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you guys. Bye. Have a great day. Thank you. Or night. <laughs> Thank you all. Appreciate Bye -bye. it. Have a great day.